Hello guys, I'm Chan from UW Program and today I would like to share with you guys a topic which is the nutritional labeling that I've learned in Marketing 217. It is important for us as a consumer to learn and know how to look at the nutritional labeling behind the product because it helps us to understand the compositions of food like for example the sugar level, the fats, the protein and also the carbohydrates. And all these informations can help us to easily compare the products when we purchasing the items. So today I will be going to a grocery shopping to show you guys how to compare the product by looking the nutritional label behind the product. Let's go! First of all, let's go to the yogurt that I will drink every morning and before I purchase the yogurt, I will be comparing the fats level, the protein level and also the sugar level. To be fair, I will be comparing the nutrient level per 100 gram. So the first one is the lactel which is the lemon flavor. As you can see, the fat level is 1.6 gram and the protein level is 4.1 gram and also the total sugar will be 9.1 gram. So the next one will be the strawberry flavor and as you can see the fat level is only 0.1 gram because it is fat free and the protein level is 3.1 gram and also the total sugar is 14 gram. And the last bit will be the strawberry flavor as well. As you can see the fat level is 4.4 gram and the protein level is 4.0 gram and the total sugar is 15 gram. So my final pick will be the strawberry flavor fats free because it has the lowest fats level and contain high protein level as well. So the next item for my breakfast will be the coffee that I will drink every morning as well. And I will be comparing the sugar level as well and also the protein level. So the first choice is the Nescafe white coffee and as you can see the total sugar level is 6.8 gram and also the protein level is 1.4 gram. So the next choice will be the Nescafe latte. So for this one the total sugar level is 6.0 gram and the protein level is 1.4 gram. So the last one, we will be comparing the Milo as well. So as you can see, the Milo has 7.0 gram of total sugar level, which is the highest between these three drinks, and the protein level is 2.2 gram. So my final pick for drinks will be the Nescafe Latte because it contains the lowest sugar level and high protein level compared to others. So the last item for today will be getting some biscuits. So this is the Luxus brand which is the vanilla cream flavor. So for this one, the total fats level is 23 gram and the total sugar level is 29 gram per 100 gram. And the next flavor is the peanut butter. So the total fats level for this one is 26 gram and the total sugar level is 21 gram. The last one we got is the lemon cream flavor. So for this one contains 24 grams of total fats level and also 22 grams of total sugar level. So my final picks for the biscuit is the vanilla cream flavor because it has the lowest fats level. And that's for today and hope you guys like it. See you next time.